Kia ora. My name is Chris and I'd like to show you one of our House of Science resource kits. Now these kits are um, delivered to our member schools on a weekly basis after teachers book them online and they're delivered to the school office and then a week later we collect them again and maintain them over the weekend uh, so that these kits are shared amongst a whole group of schools in the local region, uh, like, like a library. On the outside of the kit you'll see the title, there's a, um, a list of all the things that are found in the kit, and also our sponsor, which in this case is the McDermott Institute of Advanced Materials and Nanotechnology. The sponsor also gets their logo on the outside of the kit and on the, the student worksheets that I'll show you shortly. Inside the kit, the first thing the teacher will see is the teacher manual. Now the teacher manual is double-sided. We have it in English and in Tadeo because um, we cater for all New Zealand schools, including full immersion Kura. There's a list of contents, a list of what the teachers can find in the, in the kit. And there's a concept map as well. And then there's a cultural link, which is really important um, because it links this particular science topic to, um, to Māori uh, myths or legends or Māori working in this particular field. We then look at the teacher background notes and there are lots of images and uh, information that gives the teachers the background required to teach this particular topic uh, confidently to their students. When we delve into the activities we see the learning objectives for the teacher so that they can see how this activity links to the science curriculum. There's the science capabilities that are highlighted, these are the skills that are needed that are unique to learning science and there's extension ideas as well for most activities should the teacher wish to um, delve deeper into this or to, you know, to take this topic a bit further. In the back of the manual we have some other links to useful websites and other New Zealand organisations that we collaborate with. There's some information about the sponsor. We have a word list or a glossary that looks at the keywords and gives the, uh, the Tadeo translation for those. And of course, like I said, the whole thing is translated into Tadeo as well. Key information in the kit is the student cards. So we have 10 of each um, and they're color coded. We start with the red cards for the youngest students and um, the information is designed for the students to be able to follow in small groups. So there's 10 of each card and it's um, spelled out quite clearly what they need to do. And on the back of the card we have the whole thing in Tadeo as well. So these are double sided and bilingual. And as you go through the activities we go through the rainbow. So the red cards for the younger students, orange, yellow, green and blue in this case. As well as that many of our student cards have um, open-ended questions towards the end so we're looking at uh, an inquiry model really that encourages students to think, to discuss and to really grapple with the learning objectives that this activity is catering for. So it's not just a recipe of do this one two three four and here's the expected outcome it's like okay so why do you think you are seeing what you're seeing and what does it mean and what else could you try questions like that. When we look into the kit itself Everything the students need to conduct these activities, to run the experiments, is in the kit, right down to the consumables and the equipment, and then of course the instructions we were talking about. So here's an example for an activity called hydrophobic surfaces, and if we open the container for that activity, we see we have plastic spoons, we have sand, and we have hydrophobic sand, sand that repels water already aliquoted into 10 of each so the students can work in their 10 groups. There's enough spoons, there's some pipettes here so they can carefully put drops of water on it and the other thing they need for this activity are some beakers and we have loads of beakers in the kit as well. For the older students we um, have this carbon nanoparticles activity and again everything that's needed for that experiment is in the kit, nicely contained in this box and we have some tongs, we have um, a lighter, only one so the teacher can control who <laughs> is allowed to light their candles and um, tea light candles that are needed for this activity and even some 20 cent coins so there's 10 coins in there so really the teacher needs to do nothing other than open the kit and start teaching.
One of the activities in this kit requires boiling water that's so that um, the solute can be dissolved into a really um, saturated solution in order to make uh, great crystals. So rather than expect the teacher to go to the staff room and collect some hot water, we'll send a student to the staff room to collect hot water. We just put a jug in the kit so that the water can be um, heated in the classroom and the strict supervision of the teacher. So those are just some little ideas and examples of how we provide absolutely everything to make teaching science uh, a great experience for teachers and students alike. Now other support we provide for our member schools is a video for our kits that explains the key science concepts and gives an overview of each of the activities. We provide curriculum links for all the activities, so this is a separate document that the teachers can download and helps with their planning. We provide a digital copy of the manual at any time, so teachers don't have to wait for the kit to arrive. They can access the manual and prepare uh, ahead of time or extend once the kit has left uh, the school. And we also run regular professional development for our member schools in the regions where we operate. As I said earlier, these kits are then collected at the end of the week or two weeks that the teacher has booked them and uh, the House of Science team clean, fix, top up, basically become a technician service for the schools as well. So by sharing these resources across the whole region, we're getting the maximum bang for buck and, um, and we're seeing great use of these resources. So why not have a look at the full list of resources on our website using this link and uh, we hope you enjoy using our resources in your school. Thanks a lot.